Welcome to Average Joe's Pool. Now maybe you're a little bit tired of always playing 8-ball, 9-ball or 10-ball and would like to try something a little bit different on your table. Well in that case, this little magical box of delights could be just for you. Welcome to Chinese Dragons. That's how it always begins. Very small. So what we have here, this is a first edition set of Chinese Dragons that's been kindly supplied to us, four of you, by Chinese Dragons. So question number one will be, what is Chinese Dragons? Well, Chinese Dragons is a unique product that consists of a set of 22 balls. And these balls have been designed to be used for six brand new games that Chinese Dragons have invented for between two and four players. And you may have already noticed that the design that we have on these balls is somewhat unique. In this set, we have 16 balls that have a dragon design and they come in four different colors. And the design of each of the dragons is slightly different for each of the color sets. And additionally, we have four balls that have an emperor design. Again, those balls are colored to match the dragon balls. And we also have one sea goddess ball and that's the blue ball. And finally, we have the Dragon Claw Ball, which is the cue ball. And you've probably noticed that we have two racks that come with this set as well. And that's because there are different racking patterns depending on which of the six games you intend to play. Now, with regards to the rules for those six games, you can find in-depth details on those on the Chinese Dragons website, which is ChineseDragons.club. And on there, you'll find in-depth rules for each of those six games, along with the ball positioning and racking for those particular games, and also scorecards as well. And so whilst these are completely unique games and will be completely different to what you're used to playing, you're certainly not left in the lurch. They've got loads of information on their website. And the set that we have here is the first edition. Uh, this is currently the only set that Chinese Dragons produce, and this is intended for early adopters. And as such, the set is a very comprehensive package. In our first edition set, obviously, we get the 22 Chinese Dragon Balls. It's worth noting that on the first edition, the trademark logo that's on the balls will also be unique to the first edition sets. And in addition, we do get the two racks in this set. First of all, we get a standard uh, size triangular rack that holds 15 balls. And in addition to that, we get a diamond shaped rack that fits 16 balls. And just in case one is not enough, this set comes complete with two cases. The first of which is this black wooden box, and that's designed as a display chest. And then in addition to that, we do also get a briefcase style travel case. And as for the balls themselves, these are not a phenolic resin, these are actually poly resin. However, they are grade 8A, which is a particularly high grade of poly resin. And as for size, these are standard North American pool ball size, which is two and one quarter inches or 57.15 millimeters. And if you are interested in buying yourself a set of the Chinese Dragons, these are currently only available to buy from ChineseDragons.club. The price on this set is $319 and that does include delivery anywhere in the world. It's being manufactured and sent out in huge tankers. So now it's time to move on to the fun stuff. We're gonna get these onto the table and start learning some new games. And here at Average Joe's Pool, we always ensure that all products that we review have a minimum of five hours full use on the table before we form an opinion to help give a fair and accurate review.
it comes to playing Chinese Dragons, we have to remember that there are six different games that are available. And I've played through all of the games, and yes, there are a couple that are a little bit samey, but generally there is a good variation across those games. And there are a couple of things I particularly liked when it comes to playing through the Chinese Dragons games. One of the things I definitely did like was that different games have different reliances on different skill sets. So all of the games obviously have a reliance on potting balls, however some of these games are also far more reliant on good positional play. And additionally there is an element of strategy that comes in with these games. For example in the game of rivers you have to collect a full set in each of the colours of each of the balls. And so of course when you first start playing the table is completely open, you can shoot any ball in any colour. And of course this makes it ideal for young players or families uh, where the skill level is not particularly high. However, as the game develops and you start to collect those colours, of course you no longer need those balls. And so the selection of balls that you can shoot for as the game goes on gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And once all of the balls on the table have been pocketed, you re-rack the balls and start again until the first player has potted one of everything. And this is where the strategy comes into play. So for example, if you know that your opponent only needs a black emperor to win the game, then when it's re-racked and it comes to your turn, if you then pot that black emperor, then it's no longer in play. And so of course that makes it impossible for your opponent to pot the black emperor, and so he's going to have to play through that entire rack, get through to the next rack to hopefully get another shot at that ball. And so strategy and blocking your opponent can definitely be a big part of these games. And it definitely adds quite a lot of fun to the process as well. And another thing I really liked about the games is some of these games are set up not only for two players, but also three or even four players. Whereas in pool, of course, it's designed really for two players. Yes, you can play doubles, but doing it this way, you can have four different players with each of their four different sets of balls. And so this makes it absolutely ideal for families where you can all play together at the same time. And when you're playing these games, it is pretty much essential that you actually use these scorecards. Now, thankfully, they have interactive scorecards on the Chinese Dragons website. So you can simply go to the Chinese Dragons website, click scorecards, and then click the game that you're playing, enter the names of the players, and you're away. And it should be said that the scorecards that are on the Chinese Dragons website are fully functional. However, they're not the most exciting scorecards ever created. It would be nice to see some additional features incorporated into those scorecards, maybe not only adding player names, but also being able to assign them each a colour. And additionally, it might be nice to make a few interactive elements, make it a little bit more fun, like for example, if you have a target score that you put in at the start of the game, then when a player actually reaches that score, for maybe a nice animation or something like that, congratulations, player three, or whatever it might be, uh, something like that would help make it a little bit more fun on the interactivity side on those scorecards. As I said, those scorecards are there, they're completely free to use, and they are 100% fully functional. They're not all that exciting, but they definitely work. So what about physical performance when it comes to the Chinese Dragon's Balls? Well, we do have to remember that these are not made from phenolic resin, these are a poly resin set. It must be said that in play, these balls actually perform quite well. They tend to roll well, and they have a nice solid hit. However, the exception to that is definitely going to be the cue ball. And I did notice that using Master Chalk, the cue ball picks up and retains a lot of chalk. And of course, once you've got a cue ball that's holding a lot of chalk, then that's going to lead to cling, also known as skid or kick. And I definitely did miss some shots due to cling uh, whilst testing these balls. And being perfectly honest, if I was to play with this set regularly, I would definitely have to get rid of that cue ball and use my normal phenolic resin cue ball. Now, perhaps my biggest gripe when it comes to the Chinese Dragons from a performance uh, perspective is that a lot of these games have a reliance on being able to easily tell apart the dragon and emperor balls. However, in reality, it's not actually that easy to tell them apart, especially when you have a very full table and perhaps you're looking from the opposite end of the table. And if that logo is slightly facing away from you, you're going to find that you're going to be walking around the table a lot. Is that an emperor or is that a dragon? It can be a little bit frustrating. And it definitely would have been a big plus if they'd have made the emperor balls far more easy to spot perhaps by making a black stripe around the centre of the ball, or even a stripe around the white circle. But having something where you can just take a glance at it and know immediately that that's an emperor ball without having to check the picture would definitely make it far easier. Now, of course, you could say, well, if you've got four people around the table, maybe they'll help you out and say, oh, that's your emperor. But if you're playing strategy, maybe they won't. So definitely missed a small trick there, and it would have been nice to have a bit more of a visual difference between those emperor and dragon balls. So let's go ahead and score the Chinese Dragons for performance. 
With the possible exception of the cue ball, which tended to retain a lot of chalk, the set played very well. There's definitely a lot of fun and longevity to be had from the six available games, which are both fun and surprisingly addictive. The games can be taken quite seriously by more seasoned players, or just kick back and have some fun whilst playing against family members. Yes, we would like to see better distinction between the Dragon and Emperor balls. But it's not enough to ruin the overall experience of the games themselves, which really shine through. So overall, the Chinese Dragons earn themselves a worthy 4 stars out of 5 for performance. Oh yeah? What idiot would ever go out with you? Kelly? So first of all, for quality, let's consider the balls themselves. So it must be said that the balls do look excellent. They have very nice printed designs and you can't actually feel any of that print. It is very well done. And it's definitely a very unique and classy look to this set. And the clarity on the artwork on the prints on these balls is absolutely superb. There's some really, really fine detail on there and it's really well done. So overall, the balls and their designs look absolutely fantastic. However, there are a couple of issues. Well, firstly, the cue ball. And as I mentioned in performance, this cue ball is terrible at chalk retention. So when it comes to quality, I'm definitely not a fan of that cue ball. And it's a real shame because I haven't noticed any chalk marks or retention at all on any of the other balls. Of course, you would expect to get far less chalk retention because it's only chalk that transfers from that cue ball onto the object ball. However, I didn't spot a single chalk mark transfer onto any of the object balls, which is amazing when you consider just how chalky the cue ball actually is. This cue ball is definitely a magnet when it comes to chalk. So from my perspective, I definitely wouldn't be playing with that cue ball. But that in itself is not a problem. You can use any cue ball. There's nothing actually special about this. So any cue ball that you have will do. But you may well not want to use this one. And next up, we do have to remember that this is not a phenolic resin ball set. This is actually polyresin. And whilst this is a particularly high type of polyresin that they've gone for, it's not perfect and it's definitely not going to last as long as it would if it was phenolic resin. For example, we're just starting to see a very slight loss of the glossy appearance, especially noticeable on the black balls. And so it's definitely a real shame that Chinese Dragons weren't able to produce this set using phenolic resins. But also on the flip side of that, we do have to remember that what we've got here is not designed as a professional level set. This is more of a leisure or family orientated set. Now, when it comes to the Chinese Dragons, we decided to review these as an accessory or an add-on game rather than a dedicated set of balls. Now, we did actually run these through the same set of tests that we would with any set of pool balls. So we actually measured these on calibrated tools for both weight and size. First of all, thankfully, when it comes to weight, all of the balls in this set actually met the WPA specification, which we must add, of course, that these don't actually need to because that's not what these are designed to do. However, when it comes to size, we did actually have five of the balls in this set that measured outside of the WPA specification. And again, that's not the end of the world because these are not designed to actually meet those WPA specifications. These are not designed to be used in WPA tournaments in any way, shape or form. However, it must be said that when it comes to racking the balls, it's impossible to get a really tight rack. Now, I'm not sure that that's down to the quality of the racks or the size differences that we had in some of these balls. But I found that when you're putting them into the rack and you're forcing them forward, trying to get it uh, nice and set up to get rid of all those little gaps for a super tight rack, there's still that little bit of movement in the set. And speaking of racks, they do look absolutely superb, finished off in black. However, again, they're not the best quality racks in the world. They are made from wood, but that wood is very lightweight. And as mentioned, I did have some issues trying to get that rack nice and tight. So if you're expecting top of the range, professional level pool equipment, uh, then this certainly is not going to be the set for you. As mentioned, this is far more of a leisure slash family orientated product. If you take these in the context of what they're actually designed to be, which is a fun family orientated game, then the quality is definitely more than adequate. So with all that taken into account, let's go ahead and score the Chinese Dragons for quality. The overall quality of the set is perhaps not the Chinese Dragons trump card, especially considering the higher first edition price. Additionally, the racks are functional, but not the best quality, which can also be said for the accessories in general. But the quality of the balls themselves are thankfully the set's strongest point, with the print and clarity on the balls both being excellent. 
And yes, it is a shame that we're not getting phenolic resin. But for a set with this many balls, that would likely bump up the price considerably. So it could be considered a fair trade. So the Chinese Dragons score themselves a respectable three stars out of five for quality. So when it comes to downright value for money, I feel that the Chinese Dragons are unfortunately sat on somewhat of a double-edged sword. So first of all, we do have to remember that what we have here is definitely a very unique product. When we're comparing this to other sets of pool balls, we can actually compare it directly. The main reason being, of course, is we have 22 balls here rather than the normal 16. So we've pretty much got one and a half pool ball sets. So when you're looking at standard pool ball sets, you're gonna to have to multiply that price by 1.5. And this is where it's a real shame that these are not phenolic resin balls, because when it comes to polyresin balls, of course, the prices can vary so much. When it comes to polyresin balls, you can pick up the cheapest sets for around $30. And the most expensive sets, I'm sure you can spend up to $150 on a polyresin set, perhaps even more. Now, thankfully, these are a particularly high quality set of polyresin balls, and they're certainly not comparable to the $30 sets. These would definitely be more comparable to the more expensive sets. So in theory, you should be able to buy a very decent set of polyresin pool balls for about $100. So what does that make this set worth, about $150? Well, no, that would definitely be an unfair comparison because as I mentioned, this is completely unique. And also, it's not just the balls in this set, we've got a lot of extras as well. You do have to remember that this set comes complete with the two different wooden racks and also the wooden display case and the travel case as well. And when we factor in all of those extras, remembering that this set sells at $320, including free delivery anywhere in the world, then it's probably not outstanding value, but also it's probably not all that bad value either. And we do have to remember that unlike buying a set of traditional pool balls, you're getting six completely unique and original games, and also that they are suitable for up to four players. So there's definitely quite a lot of scope when it comes to added value when you're considering buying this set. And I think that Chinese Dragons have actually been quite brave with the approach that they've made with this first edition. Because at $320 is still a considerable investment. And of course, the more money that you charge for things, it tends to be that the fewer people buy it. And so, of course, less people actually end up getting to test your product. And these games are definitely a lot of fun and they're definitely worth checking out. And they will add a lot of value, especially if you have a family that often plays together. Perhaps a better approach would have been to make a beginner set, maybe to sell alongside the first edition or separately to it at a lower price level and make it a far simpler set. You could do away with the two cases, just make it come in a standard cardboard box and maybe adapt the two racks into one. And if they are able to release that set for somewhere around the kind of $150 to $180 mark, I'm sure they'd have far more players being willing to take a gamble on these and see if they like them. And additionally, when you're talking about that kind of money, of course, you're in the realm of birthday and Christmas presents, whereas on this uh, first edition set, it's perhaps a little bit too expensive for that. But I absolutely do commend Chinese Dragons for trying out something completely new, and hopefully this will work out well for them. So let's go ahead and score these for value. So at $319, there's no doubt that the Chinese Dragons are on the expensive side for a poly resin set. But that said, we should remember that this set contains 22 balls rather than the traditional 15. And also that we get the two cases, two racks, and also this is a first edition collector's set. There's definitely a lot of fun to be had playing the six Chinese Dragons games. And these games, of course, are completely unique to this set and something you simply can't find elsewhere. So there's actually a lot here to justify the slightly higher asking price scoring the Chinese Dragons a solid three and a half stars out of five for value. I think it's a definite improvement, Jack. And so, last of all, it's time to award the Chinese Dragons with an official Average Joe's rating. And this is done by simply taking the scores from across our three test categories and then calculating the overall average and the Chinese Dragons cross the finishing line with a very respectable 3.5 stars. If you can justify the slightly high price point, then you can open up a completely new world of fun on your table, as well as supporting Chinese Dragons in their first edition venture. There are certainly a lot worse ways to spend your time and money, so why not check them out? 
So, Chinese dragons, should you go ahead and buy yourself a set? I think that overall my recommendation would be yes, there's definitely a lot of fun in playing these very unique games. And yes, unfortunately, these are currently on the slightly more expensive side. However, there are hundreds or probably even thousands of potential hours of fun to be had with this set. As I mentioned, one of the big bonuses, of course, is you have those dedicated two, three and four player games. So if you're looking for something that's going to open up your uh, table to your family a little bit more, then this could be a great solution. And of course, every once in a while, it is nice to try out something a little bit different. So if you want to take a break from your eight or nine ball practice, then again, this could be just for you. And do remember that if you want to buy a set of these, current price on these is $319 for the first edition set. And that does include free delivery anywhere in the world. And these are only available to buy on the Chinese Dragons website. So thank you very much for joining us here at Joe's Paul. I hope this video has been informative or helpful for you. And if it has, we always ask you to take one second out of your busy schedule to please, at the very, very least, be sure to hit that like button for us. It really helps us out. And whilst you're there and you've got your finger on the trigger, why not also click on that subscribe button, switch on notifications, and then you'll find out about all of our upcoming videos. So thank you once again. Until next time, if they told you that Wolverines would make good house pets, would you believe them? Let's see what they can do.